Penguins got Crosby back. They need a lot more help. It could be on the way, but right now they're not in a good position. 3-3-2. Three, three, and two. Josh, I want to ask you about what ails them and also your evaluation of the goaltending so far, knowing that we're going to eventually have to have it in the playoffs for, to make an accurate assessment of Tristan Jari. Well, big picture, they're 3-3-2, three, three, and two, which is okay. Uh, they could have a disastrous record right now, given how many people they have been without during the first few weeks of the season. So they're fine. No need to worry about the standings yet. Um, they have a few days of practice this week before they come back on Thursday against Philly. Let's see how Sidney Crosby looks after he has a game under his belt. He wasn't very sharp last night, but still major concerns. They are without five or six very important players, even with Crosby back. Uh, he needs to be really great right away. And as for the goaltending, I think Jari's been pretty good. I mean, he gave up four goals last night, but really they were outplayed pretty badly last night. I think uh, the returns so far have been more good than bad with Tristan. Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I'm sort of with Josh. I mean, let's remember, like, when Mike Sullivan came in on board in 15, they were in last place, so they were out of the playoff picture, and that was mid-December, so I'm not going to get – they are technically in last place as of today in their division, but I'm not going to get worked up. However, I think, you know, Jari's going to need to be – he's been good, but he needs to be really good because they're going to be shorthanded. Even if every, the COVID guys come back, Gino is still out for a, a little while longer, right? So, I mean, I think they've scored, what, three goals in their three losses? I mean, this is – Sort of, they played kind of over their heads that first couple of weeks, and now they've sort of settled down. They've played some really good teams. It shows you they just don't have the firepower right now like they're used to. And I think that really that they've got to tighten up, and Jari's got to be better than just pretty good. Mm -hmm. Bob, of course, Sidney Crosby comes back. What happens? You get odd man breaks <laughs> and a shorthanded goal. I just don't get it how that always happens. You know, they're so disciplined without their stars. The guy goes back in. They play up and down hockey like that. You know, come on, Chicago. Your season's over. Mark Andre Fleury should walk into the you know GM's office, the interim GM, and say, "I don't want to be a part of this mess. Get me out of here." I mean, that team is a complete disaster from the top down. Given the scandal there, Mark Andre Fleury in his last year, potentially in the NHL, deserves better than that. And I'd love for the Penguins to rescue him out of that situation and bring him to Pittsburgh, Bob. I like it too, but it would take probably more than they want to give up. Who knows at this point? There's a lot on the table. It's early in the hockey season.